Hi everybody, Darlene here from D3 Creations. Today we're going to be making a Indian sandalwood soap. So I've got everything all laid out and ready to go for you so you don't have to waste your time watching the video with all of the prep work. So I've got my oils here, my lye water, and then I have my titanium dioxide and my two different colored micas. Now these micas are a mixture of brown and beige clays and a couple of micas that I got from Brambleberry that I just had laying around that I wanted to just use up. And then we've got our fragrance oil. I don't remember where I got the fragrance oil from, but it is an Indian sandalwood and it smells so good. The purpose of making this video today is to check out our new mold that I got from NurtureSoap.com and it is a five pound mold and I'm not really sure how much um, soap that I'm going to need to fill up this mold. This is the first time I'm using it. Don't tell my mom though, it was my Christmas present and I opened it early, but I'm just so eager to use it that I wanted to use it today. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, again, I have my oils here and I've got my stick blender and I have my lye water ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my lye water in. Give it a quick blend. Now hopefully this doesn't trace super fast because I want to do a swirl. So I want to keep it at a very thin trace so that I can work with it and do the drop swirl. I'm going to go ahead and add in my fragrance oil now to the whole thing before we divide it up. Give it a couple of blends. I also have added some silk, um, some Tessa silk into my lye water so there is, and it dissolves. Uh, took about, um, I don't know, 10, 10 minutes or so to kind of dissolve the whole thing, just like a small piece, like maybe the size of a dime is what I used. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, divide this up now so I can get my swirls. So I want most of it white and I just want a little bit of the swirl. So I'm going to go ahead and pour those, pour that on in there. Now to this is what I'm going to add my titanium dioxide to because again, this is going to be a majority of it, the base, so that should do it right about there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just stick with this up real quick. I'm trying to move a little bit fast because I see that this is tracing rather quickly. So some fragrance oils trace faster than others. Um, and the titanium dioxide makes it trace kind of quick too. So I'm just going to go ahead and these are both brown. So I don't really necessarily need to, I don't need to, um, you know, clean the blender in between. It's okay if they mix up. They're not going to change the colors or anything but like I said I am tracing rather quickly so we got to move fast so here we go off to the mold all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it and I'm just hoping and praying that this is going to be enough and I'll save that little bit for the top if we have any left I'm going to go ahead and pour that on in and in no particular order because again I'm just doing a swirl so we'll save a little bit of that for the swirl on the top and get this other swirl on in here and I just went the opposite direction oops that's no good so so my normal soap recipe I used it times four to get this um, and it looks like there's a little bit room at the top of it still so I probably could use it times five but um, again the purpose of this I just want I was just anxious to see this mold and you know kind of get my measurements in there 
And I'm just kind of getting this all out of there. I don't want to waste any of it, especially since we're a little bit short at the top. So the bars might come out a little bit short, but that's okay. Scrape, scrape. Get it all out. All that good stuff. It smells wonderful, by the way. Okay. And we've got some brown here, so I'm just going to go ahead and just drop this on in there like this. Kind of looks like cake batter. It's making me hungry. My auntie is holding the camera for us. You can't see her. But she's doing a fine job. Thank you, Auntie. You're welcome, darling. <laughs> she's camera shy. She's not even in front of the camera, and she's still camera shy. She's going to give this a quick stir. You can see how fast it traces. Um, and this majority of this one was like a, a brown clay. Um, a brown sea clay that I had, or not a sea clay, it was just a brown clay. Um, so I highly doubt it was that. So I'm, I'm guessing that what caused this, this one to trace so quickly was the, uh, the fragrance oil that I used. I don't remember where I got it from, unfortunately. But that's all right. Okay. So now I've got a chopstick here. I'm just going to go ahead and just, just do a little bit of a swirl here, just kind of in and out, just to kind of break it up and make it look all pretty on top. Looks pretty, doesn't it, Nancy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's still camera shy. It's all right. We'll get her in there. And I wished... I had some more whites, and I don't think I do. I think we scraped, scraped, scraped it all, so that's just too bad. It would make a little bit of a prettier swirl, but I still think it looks okay. What do you think, Auntie? It looks good. Still looks all right. Okay, we're just going to do that. And like I said, now I know I've got one more. You can see how fast it traced. It's not even moving. And I got some on the wood. It's got this cool little silicone lighter, which I think is pretty awesome. I just love this soap mold. I'm just going to pound it. Just make sure it's nice, good, and down in there. So here is our soap. And now I know for next time that I need to add a times five because I still got about a half an inch on the top. So the bars might come out a little bit short, but I'm thinking that that's okay because this is a pretty tall mold. So I should get several bars out of here and uh, we'll see. I mean, if it doesn't come out, um, if they're just too short, then, you know, we'll cut it up and use it for samples or, you know, we'll find some kind of use for it. But like I said, I just wanted to test out this mold today. So... Uh, that's it. We're going to let this sit for about 24 to 48 hours. Then we're going to unmold it and we'll bring you back for the unmolding and the cutting. Thank you for watching. You can always check us out at www.d3creations. That's C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-Z dot com for products. And we are also on Etsy. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel.